Hi, I'm Pastor John Berg from Divinity Lutheran Church on the east side of St. Paul. This is our second midweek Advent devotion for 2020. So if you have an Advent wreath this week, we light two blue candles. But don't blow it out after you light it. If you have a hard time remembering uh, how to, what order uh, in which to light the candles, it's two blue, then the pink. And then, of course, the Christ candle is last. For our Advent devotions this year, we are looking at uh, one of the most amazing prophecies about Jesus uh, that we, we often hear quite a bit during the Advent season. That's Isaiah chapter 9. And the names for Jesus that we find in Isaiah chapter 9 tell us so much about the meaning of Christmas and Advent. Last week we looked at uh, Jesus being called wonderful and what that all means when we say he is wonderful. If I ask you to picture, you know, when I say Jesus and Advent or Jesus and Christmas, what comes to your mind? I'm going to guess that for perhaps almost everyone who watches this, the first thing that would come to your mind is not Jesus as Father, but that is uh, one of the names for Jesus in Isaiah chapter 9, verse 6. Let me read this again to remind you. For to us a child is born, to us a son is given. The authority to rule will rest on his shoulders. He will be named Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Everlasting Father. Now when we're talking about Jesus and we mention the Father, and almost every other uh, occasion I can think of, you would be correct in thinking, oh, that's a reference to God the Father. This is, this is talking about the Trinity, how we have one God who is three persons, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Um, a very important Christian doctrine that we find many places in Scripture. But that actually is not what, what the prophet is talking about here. Again, listen to these verses. The context is all, this, this is the second person of the Trinity. For to us a child is born, to us a son is given. The authority to rule will rest on his shoulders. He will be named Wonderful, Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, and Prince of Peace. This is clearly talking about the second person of the Trinity, Jesus, not God the Father. So then the question is, how... Is Jesus Father? Well, what's, what's the point the prophet is making? Well, Jesus is Father in the sense that there would be no children of God. You and I could not call ourselves, could not call each other children of God without Jesus. Without his work of atoning for us, without his work of redeeming us. Without his work of justifying us, we would just be enemies of God as we were when we first came into existence inside of our mothers. But because of Jesus' work, because of the faith that the Holy Spirit has planted in our hearts, you and I are children of God. And so Jesus is the one who we can call Father because he has produced, caused us to be children. But Isaiah makes another incredibly important point. When you think about fathers in our culture, it's really one of the biggest problems we have in society, isn't it? Absent fathers. Fathers who think their duty, uh, their duties are few and far between. Fathers who just want to be their children's friend or don't want to be in their children's life at all. 
That's not the kind of father Jesus is. Isaiah says he is everlasting father. His relationship with us, his relationship of caring for us, providing for us as a father does, never ends. He never leaves us. In fact, he said, never will I leave you, never will I forsake you. That is an everlasting father, an, an eternal father. Our relationship with him, at least from his, his point, his perspective will never end. We are the only ones who can destroy our relationship, who can end our relationship with, with Jesus as, as that paternal Savior who's always caring for us. When I say Jesus, Christmas, and Advent, you probably picture a baby, don't you? You picture a baby in a manger, and that's, and that's appropriate, and that's, that's wonderful, that's Christmas. But we must remember that Jesus did not stay that baby. He grew up. He grew up to do the work of suffering and dying for us and living for us before that and then rising again. So he can be our everlasting father. Let's pray. Jesus, this Advent season, remind us that because of your work for us, we are children of God, and that we can always trust you to provide for us, to care for us, to keep us safe, and to bring us someday to be with you. Bless our Advent preparations, and bless our Christmas. Amen.